first of all, remember, size doesn't matter, which means in, even in a small place, you gotta make it happen. So I had the opportunity to do this photo shoot for a client. Unfortunately, we, have, we, are, we were in such a small place. And that's all the video about, just to share with you how you can make it happen in the best way possible in the situation that you are with the best tools that you have in the moment. I'm sure a lot of you guys are in this situation sometimes, maybe because you don't have a big studio, a big place. So I was like, man, that's the best possibility to share. So I couldn't find fads around too much with the camera, you know. So I, I got some clip and that's it. And then I had to shoot, but then I decided, okay, I'm gonna create this amazing video. Okay, the requirement were full body, model, full dress, white background, that's it, all steady there. So like tripod, camera, model, stay there. Okay, what was the challenge? The size, so the space was limited. And especially what, what was the main challenge is that I didn't have much room between the background and the model and placing the light to lit the background. So you, you'll see how I did. What was the pros? The pros that thank God at least the ceil ceiling was super high so I didn't have to manage with the loud light bouncing from the top and dropping the sometimes create this uh, washed out look at least that one yeah even if there was a lot of uh, neon so there was this kind of magenta light sometimes coming the actually I don't know then exactly if it's because of my old flesh anyway Another was that I had at least enough room from me to the model. So at least I could use a lens like a 70 millimeter. Maybe I could even use a longer one, but at least I avoid the uh, stretching look. You know, when you are forced to go with a 35 millimeter, which I think it's unbearable. I mean, because, you know, the proportion gets a little bit tweaked. So what I did, I decided, okay, let's go with something, a, a setup they already did, I'm kind of familiar, so I know how to play around. So what I did, I brought my two flash without any modifier, just with the reflector, the flash point 620M, that I think I'm not gonna use ever, not for this job anymore. Actually, I bought new stuff. Maybe I'll do another video about this, but yeah, I think this is the last one that I'm doing with this guy because I think they are old or whatever. You're going to see the, the reason. And then other two flash for key light and model and uh, fill. So the key light was the uh, impact parabolic silver that I have 51 uh, inch and always from top, top hat, 45 degree from me a little bit, maybe 30 degree. And then another on the side was umbrella with a screen, a little bit angle so that it could lit the rest of the body, the, part, the other part of the model, and also a little bit the floor where the model was stepping just to make it more bright. Of course, what, almost mandatory, I would say in this case, shooting tethering, so at least you can see immediately the picture and you can tweak a little bit, because that's the thing. So when you know already that the picture needs a lot of Photoshop, it's better you see there, you tweak a little bit the first picture in Lightroom with some setting that can make the background a little bit better, and then you apply the setting in all the picture automatically that follow. Anyway, bandole challenge, let's go see some clips so we can show better. So from, from this clip you can see how close was the uh, flash for the background to the background itself, the white one, and you can see the second one too. Okay, it, it was without any umbrella, any anything, just strobe there because I mean there is no room. Besides the kind of effective, I gotta say. 
Here you can see the, um, the feel a little bit twisted and so that you can lit also a little bit the, the floor exactly where the model step in. Fr from this view you can uh, get a, a look about where is exactly how it's placed the angle of the key light, the um, umbrella, the silver umbrella. You can see how tiny was the, the space. Here you are. You want to know where I was? Here. That's where I was. Yes, in this little tunnel. That's why I said, anyway, a good thing is that I had enough room to place a longer lens and making the proportion of the model uh, nice and clean, not any distortion. But I was like in this tunnel of among clothing. It's amazing. This is my computer tether and this from here you can see what was basically my view. This is what I was seeing. And uh, all the uh, clothing on the side weren't distracting, weren't uh, in, in the picture. Okay, I guess you wanna know the camera setting here directly from the moment of the scene. So. The two flashes that lit the background, they are all both around f22 and my, the camera is set at f13. Then um, both the, the key light and the fill light on the side, they are around f8. And actually it's getting nice. The thing is that because of the, the, the light on the background, they are lighting the background, are so close, so they create a kind of a spot. So of course, uh, I can't assume and having all the way uh, the background pure white. So then, in post, I have to a little bit brighten up maybe the top and the bottom part because it's like there is this mid session that it's more lit than the rest. But it's fine anyway, considering the space where I am, eh, I mean, that's a good, uh, a good uh, job, of course, for a super expert in lighting like me. It's coming. Okay, so, so th this one, the, you, you're gonna see, it's an idea of a, a ideal picture where both the flash on the back fired and everything fire went kind of nice. You can see that there is this area which is a little bit kind of a hot spot and that's another one here because the two flash go from both sides, okay? And then you see so the top, I don't know if you can see from the video, but the top is slightly darker and of course even here it's darker and here darker. That's where the swipe is, but that's actually fine. I'll show you in case when the picture, when the uh, flash on the back was were on the fire, sometimes you see that's exactly same things. A few seconds later, when both the flash in the back didn't fire, you know, only the front one. That was the reason why I was saying that probably I'm gonna, no, probably I'm gonna get rid of that one because I mean they can't keep the pace anymore. Besides that, I mean I, I gotta shoot at one and six of a second. Okay, another thing that I was saying is that the problem that you get when you get the model too close to the background in this short space is that if she steps a little bit too much on the back, I mean, actually, of course, she moves a little bit, you ended up having a little light leaking from the strobes that lit the background. As you can see in this picture, basically, you see here a little bit, yeah, you see it's already blown up even here, you know, you see it's a, a little overlapping slightly, you know, not here, but especially why on the elbow, because maybe she was pushing the elbow a little bit on, on the back and some picture was also stepping. So this is something to, to pay attention. This one here, just to give you an idea of what happened when, I mean, what's the effect of having only the background light. Once again, here you can see different when flash, the back uh, doesn't go off, only the front, and then when decided to go off. Actually, uh, yes, this is all raw picture with just a little setting set already in the in uh, in the tethering uh, import mode. Okay, so it's a little tweak already. 
In this one I'm gonna show you, you see, the difference between what's the raw file, let's say the way it came with the little uh, adjustment on Lightroom and then this is all the final that I did on uh, Photoshop, which was, as I said, based on contrast, just slightly touch up uh, in, uh, on lighting, color tone and nodding skin and other stuff. Yeah, here you can see other picture, just to have an idea of what you can achieve in the small space. Anyway, you know, I mean, anyway, it's kind of white uh, and off. You can see a little bit, this is a little blown up sometimes, but considering the situation where it was, you know, then you're gonna, and all, all, all the technique that I used to make everything white, it's the same that I, I did a video about it. I am gonna put it on the description and up so you can give a look, which is kind of fast way and yeah, to do this massive job. Okay, and I think this is enough for today. I hope this video was giving you some suggestion. Actually, give me, if you can, and happen you got some uh, uh, some experience like this, give, give me some uh, suggestion, comment, and yeah, follow, put a like, and share if you like, and I'll see you in the next one, I hope soon, I'll promise, I'll try to be, it's just the intense, so much work, really, so, okay, anyway, I'll promise, thank you for following me, and I'll see you in the next one.